Okay, welcome back. We are at episode four, I believe, of this build. And it's coming together pretty well. It's looking good. I think I want to finish this funnel over here. I think I'm done placing any defenses over here. I might just throw in this little baby Tesla here. I think that's probably fine. And then I guess we can finish building out. Uh, just filling in so there's no holes in the base over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. I also like that. Um, I want to add one of these. I like to mix up the hit points of the buildings in these really full corners. Now, I'm giving away a lot of percent here, and I don't always recommend that, but this is a... It kind of goes on a case-by-case -case basis for what you believe your base needs to defend itself. Okay, I'm going to go with that. And outside here, I'm kind of stuck putting huts. There's just not a lot of room, and I don't like bowler bounces. I think they're stupid, but for some reason in CWL, everybody loves doing them. So we are going to try to avoid allowing that, because people will think bad of us if we don't. Put that there. Put that there. Alright, that is good. So this side of the base looks pretty good. Um, we were talking about making sure they can't funnel up here. We'll go ahead and finish this this top side too. Um put this here. Yeah, like that. I like that. Put this up here to fill this huge space. Um, go ahead and do a little of this. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, do we have? We have a cannon, and we have a mortar. We need to place our sweepers. Hmm. That's that's not where I want to place that. <laughs> uh, let's see, cannon. I want to make it hard to direct target this air defense down here. I think I like things there. And then, what if I put this in here? Mm-hmm. I think I like that as well. I think I'm going to end up putting my mortar out here again to prevent that direct target <clears throat> to prevent the direct target stuff Let's see if we can't fill all this in there we go I don't want that right next to it though like that maybe I'm okay with that and that can we fill in this whole top side let's put a couple of cheeky gold mines up here Do uh, like such. I have one more gold mine, so I'm gonna toss it over here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put a big bomb here. Just in case they want to come walking around this direction with, say, Bowler Witch. I'm a little worried about Bowler Witch coming in this way and having flanks. So this flank obviously will die out, so I put this here to make sure that flank doesn't do well either. Let's go ahead and put a camp down here to fill that in. Too much, too much. There you go. Um, um, I like to put storages in these little um, nooks. And it just kind of draws troops around the base. And then, yeah. It looks like we got traps and sweepers. Now for this, I think I would want a sweeper here. Because if I was them, you kill squad the town hall, you have to balloon this backside, so I'll face it at the backside. Or they will try to balloon 
directly into the town hall and I will have a sweeper there covering both the town hall and the inferno and this one covers that inferno okay I'm good with that now let's let's go ahead and protect our town hall get some spring traps in here and a couple of skeleton traps like such okay got that going oh what should we do next should we just place all the giant bombs we've already got two of them down let's go ahead and place the rest so looking at this I want one by this multi-target inferno and then I wonder if I hmm can I squeeze one in back here yep perfect 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 let's see I have one more giant bomb I think hmm Got one there. Do I want any of my core? I don't think that I do. <sighs> you know what we could do? We could put one down here. Just in case anybody wants to come this direction with uh, wall breakers or something. Yeah, or if this flank makes it all the way this far, they'll make it to this and hopefully that flank of bowlers and witches will go down. Okay, let's go ahead and place um our red bombs, our, our red balloons. So I'm going to go ahead and protect this wizard tower. I don't typically like red balloons within range of these air defenses, but in this case I'm going to allow it. And then I'm going to put a double. And I like putting my red my red balloon traps in doubles. It really it really messes up balloons. There we go. Pan out a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and place our black bombs. So I want one here. Wizard Tower and the Inferno. Hopefully we catch a E-Dragon there. A little E-Drag bait. I already got one here. Hmm. Let's put one out here as well. Help protect that funnel even more, maybe from a baby dragon or something like that. Speaking of protecting from baby dragons, let's go ahead and put one out here too. And we'll put one here. And I think I'll place the last one here. Again, this looks like baby dragon bait to me, so we'll put that there. Okie dokie. I have one skeleton trap. Probably going to put this somewhere by an inferno, I believe. Or, or I could put it out here to mess up this funnel. That's what I'll do. And we'll put it on ground. Mm, I'll leave it on air. I'll leave it on air. In case of baby drag or any amount of dragons comes in there, they can get hung up on that for a minute. Okay, let's see. Spring trap. Put it between these two defenses here. Put one in front of the inferno here. And we'll put one by the inferno here. Oh, let's go this direction with it in case they come from this side. And I think I got one more. Where would I place you, buddy? Where should I place you? 
We'll go in between this little triangle of defenses down here. Okay. Now we got these little bombs. I like to just place them out here where I believe uh, troops would be moseying around the base. And this will help thin them out as they come through. Okay. And I think that's about going to do it. Well, let's toss one up here. And then, of course, we have these stupid statues. So I guess I'll place it here and here. All right. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah. The next video will be me showing uh, replays about how well this base did or did not hold up and the adjustments that were made. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for checking it out, and I will see you in the next one.